Hello everybody, I am back with a five flavor rum cake. And here are my ingredients. And um, I did not actually use the butter extract, so you don't have to add it, but if you want to, you can, but I did not use it. I, that was for an, a different cake. So yeah, I'm just showing you all the ingredients I used and everything. And I will put the, you know, the tablespoons and teaspoons and measurements, everything like that, that I use in the uh, description bar. So check the description bar. First step, wash them nasty hands. <laughs> but no, seriously, wash your hands, please. Let's get the cracking eggs, baby. And um, the next part, I'm just gonna speed it up because this video was super duper long. But yes, yeah, like as you can see, I'm just cracking and placing in um, the eggs. Y'all know I love dancing. I had to put my little shoulder lean in it. <laughs> next is butter. When that butter just glistening all over your body. <laughs> Okay, yeah. So, yeah, just add your butter. More butter. Butter. Butter, butter. Oh, couldn't get it together. I like to keep a clean station when I'm either cooking or baking. So, if it's not a clean station, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm like... It's just, I have this really bad, it has to be clean. Okay, now I'm adding the flour. That's flour, it's not sugar, yet. I was actually running out of uh, flour and my assistant helped me fill it back up because I didn't want to uh, touch anything while I was cooking, see? <laughs> and then, voila, I have more flour. <laughs> and now, it's the sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Um... I use white sugar this this time, but I believe the next time I'm going to use brown sugar and almond milk. So, yeah. Baking powder. Salt. Salt. <laughs> Salt. Vanilla. I shake up everything. I have no clue why. Lemon. Coconut. Almond, almond is oh, it smells so good. Rum, yeah, baby. <laughs> rum, <laughs> I love rum. Milk, and now the mashing, which I wanted to start off slow because I didn't want any of the liquid spilling out because. It will and it can, but um, yeah, mash, mash, mash away. Ooh, and it smelled like really it's so, 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 so good. Like I just wanted to eat it right then and there, but I'll wait. <laughs> turn, baby, turn. Charm, baby, charm. <laughs> Putting in that arm workout for real, for real. Take back to the olden days. But as you can see, I was getting really tired and I forgot that I have a, uh, what is it? A mixer, a cake mixer. So yeah, 
it didn't even dawn on me until I, I was halfway done with it. So yeah, let me go ahead and go get that that mixer. Un momento, por favor. <laughs> And then one drops. Okay. Y'all, of course I had to go wash it off. I don't play that. Meow. <laughs> I'm just crazy. I'm just funny. I just love to be happy. Nothing wrong with that. So don't mind me and my shenanigans. Yes, the mixer is A1. <laughs> there was absolutely so much going on <laughs> behind the scenes. So I definitely had to do a voiceover. I'm telling you, it was just fun times. So I just want to show you guys the consistency of the cake batter so far. So the mix is done and I definitely need an apron. I was making a mess everywhere. Apron is on my to get list. You need to spray your bunt pan. Is it bunt, blunt, bunt pan? Something like that. The cake pan. <laughs> Always playing. I'm just adding my designs <laughs> or whatnot. <laughs> Just being me, enjoying life, having fun as much as possible. <laughs> and then after you spray your cake pan, you need to add some flour so it won't stick as well. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And make sure you get the cake pan really good because this makes for a easy slide out method once the cake is absolutely done voila it tastes so good y'all and of course you know your family or your friends always want to lick the the spoons or the bowls so they actually did all of it but i was done with them so Okay, add your cake mix to your pan. I had I forgot a spoon because I was going to do it that way. But then I was like, I don't want to make a mess. So I'm about to go wash it off and then scoop it in there. I just didn't want to pour the whole mix in there because then it would have like overflowed and went probably in the middle and stuff like that. So I just want to do it in a very neat way. So I'm almost done with filling in the cake pan with the batter. So after that, you would need to uh, preheat the oven to 355. I did 355 for uh, an hour and a half. Wait until the oven heats up. Do a little dance, ay, 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 oh, oh, get it, get it some more, get it some more. <laughs> I was basically saying this is my first time baking a pound cake, so I was like really, really excited and happy because it smells so good, and I was just saying I hope that it tastes as good as it smells. So yeah, ay, get it, ay, <laughs> 
Okay, it is ready to go in. And always make sure you put your cake in the middle of the oven, evenly cooked. Bam. Look at it. Look at it. And I do believe it is done. So I'm going to test it and to make sure that you know that it's cooked. If you dip it in there and no cake come out, then it's definitely done. You could use a toothpick or anything, you know, then. But let it cool off for a good 30 minutes. Because you don't want to slip, you know, you don't want to um, take it out while it's still hot. It'll probably fall. So now I'm about to flip it. I was nervous it was not going to come out right, I promise you. <laughs> I'm just so elated. Y'all don't understand. Tester piece. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and turn on the notification button. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which I changed it to it's just simply Simone. And a picture's coming now. Thank you. Adios. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>